Hey guys, this is Misty from Mac Jewelry. Today uh, we are going to make a uh, rosary. Now I did have one for an example, but I sold it unexpectedly tonight. So uh, I started started the one that I'm showing you how to make today because if not, it would have been a very long video. So. Uh, but I will show you what we need and uh, show you um, how to put it together and, and so on. So um, let's show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some beads. Uh, you can use rounds. I don't think anybody's made these with bicones, but I don't see why you can't. See beads is also something else people's used. But you're going to need 53 of one bead so I'm using white today you're gonna need um six of another color I'm using black and this one here that I'm making is for an order so you're gonna need some rosary connectors I don't know if you can see that um you're gonna need a cross now this is the cross that um I was asked to use. You're going to need some head pins. I mean eye pins. And they're just with the little round. Um, oh, eye at the end of it, I guess. We can call it that. Eye uh, circle. Um, you're going to need several of those. You're going to need some round nose pliers. And let me see here. These have cutters on them. But if you don't have some with cutters, you will have to have a pair of cutters. And, uh, let me see. I think that's all you need. So, let me show you what I've made. Let me dump these out. <clears throat> these are neat little trays. My sister got these for me at Hobby Lobby. And there was like six for $2.99 or $3.99. But they're little tin ones. And they are just great, you know, easy to pick up beads and such. So, definitely, these are good to invest in. Okay, I've already started this. And I'll tell you what you need. My white beads are going to be 10 per section. You need five sections for the five decades. <clears throat> your black beads or whatever color you're going to use is to separate the decades and they will just link together like this okay <clears throat> and as you as you can see I'd already started uh, my next section um let me what you do is you take a hip eye pin you take your bead and you slip it on without it falling back off. You slip it on the eye pin. You take your 3M1, which is what this is, or your cutters. You snip some access off. And you make you make an eye out of it. Like that. Now, what I do is when I make these, excuse me, I uh, I put my beads on, make the eye, and then I take my other eye pin, I go ahead and hook it on, and then, oops, and then I close it up. Just like that. That way it doesn't come off. Like that did. So make sure that you have it closed. Good. Um, make sure that uh, you close all the eyes on a good. When you get your eye pins sometimes they're not closed all the way. That one is. I had one here to show you. Mm, here, it's not closed all the way. 
so make sure you close it all the way and you just keep adding your beads your white beads remember it's 10 per section you take your pliers you snip it make your eye your loop or however you want to say it put your pin on and close it up this is just the fastest way to do it um, you don't have to do it this way you can do all your sections separate if you want and then connect them together but I find this easier to do it this way okay take your other oh my goodness take your other white bead put it on and I've already got four sections done I'm doing the last one and you make your loop add your eye pin close it and make sure it's good and closed and you just keep doing that and you will do this until you have all five sections done and that even includes your little black beads too remember you'll do 10 of one color after you do the 10 of one color then you're gonna put just like we're doing here you're gonna have your 10 and then you're gonna put your black on and then you'll continue with the next 10 and you just wanna keep doing this I don't have a pause so I can't pause and have you guys come you know pause and then me do all of this and then come back and see it done so we're just going to go on through this continue adding our beads and your eye pins and the music you hear in the back I had someone ask me what music I listen to when I'm beating and usually it's whatever mood I'm in um, I've had straight no chaser playing I've had PTX I've had George Jones but today <clears throat> I've got the Crab family playing in the back I really enjoy them they're one of my favorites so but usually it just depends on my mood um, and what you know I'm uh, looking to make or you know my music usually inspires me so and I usually come up with some crazy things depending on the type of music okay so you're gonna keep going oops adding your eye pins and your beads and let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine this is your last one ten okay now we've already got our five sections our black beads in between as I said I've already done this before on our connector I've already got one side connected to it what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your last section of your decade you're gonna slip your connector on it and you're gonna close that up make sure it's good and closed so now you have the first part of it done and like I said it's really simple just putting your beads on making your eye pins <clears throat> adding your eye pins and your beads and everything together in your sections of five which as I said is the decades now you're gonna do the bottom and how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take an eye pin you're gonna add one black bead and if I remember correctly I could get this wrong if I am just leave a comment down below that this is Father God I believe which goes on first 
you're going to add an eye pin. And then you've got three white beads. Each one represents a Hail Mary. So there's one. Oops. Two. And, ouch. And I'm not Catholic. I don't know if I've got all this right, but... You know, I'm just going by what I've been told, so I hope I didn't get it wrong. If I did, I am truly, truly sorry. There we go. You one more white for your last Hail Mary. Sometimes my cutters are a pain. And you're going to add one more on, one more eye pin. Oops. And one more black, which I believe again is is uh, supposed to be um, Father God. I believe, like I said, I could be wrong. Now, this last loop I'm gonna make fairly decent because my cross is just going to be hooked onto that. And sometimes you cross, the crosses are pretty big, the loops, so you're going to make it big. And I hope that stays on. Meet my... Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Now what you do is you take... Oh my dear lord. I'm having issues with my pins today. Okay. And then what you do is you take your first, where your first black bead is, and you want to open your eye pin hook your connector on it the bottom of the connector maybe Ugh. I'm all thumbs today guys okay on the bottom of your connector and close it up and there you have a very pretty rosary. Let me clean up my little mess here. Get this out of the way. And another thing these trays are good for is to clean up messes. Especially these eye pins. Just scoop them up and it's done. So here is the rosary finished. It's a simple not very hard, but something that, you know, I'm just getting orders for, and I thought I'd make a tutorial on it, so, if you like this, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and, uh, if you're interested in kits or, or anything that, you know, I've made or whatever, uh, go to Facebook, Facebook search Mac, and click like. Thank you. Have a good day.